Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about materials and parameter organization. If we take a look at the material instance for this master material, you'll see that each one of the textures are separate from each one of the scalars, and the vectors are all by themselves as well. Additionally, everything is in alphabetical order. If you wanted to change this on each one of your parameters in the master material, you have a material expression section, and you can organize your parameters by group or by sort priority. So as an example, I'm going to go to the texture emissive, and I'm going to give it a group name of EM, and then the emissive intensity, I'm going to do the same thing. We come back over to our material instance, you'll see that they're grouped together. Now say that we put them all in the same group. So they're all in one group now, but they're still alphabetical. So what we can do from here is we can use the sort priority. So I'm going to set my base texture to 0, set my base tint to 1, my texture AORM is going to be 3, and we're going to leave each one of these at 4, our emissive is going to be 5, 6, our mole will be 7. Now if we come back over to our material instance, you can see that these aren't sorted alphabetically, but now they're sorted in an order. Now, something else to talk about here is material functions. Drag this in for right now. I'm going to open up my material function. This is a tile and offset material function. What I want to point out in material functions is that you don't actually want to put parameters in your material function, even if you can. Maybe there's some situations that call for it, but you really don't want to. If you did have a parameter in your material function and it's hooked up in your master material, that parameter will show up in your material instance. But the catch here is, what if you want to have two of these material functions in here, come back to your material instance, there's still only one parameter. If you have parameters that have the exact same name, they're going to work as one. So in most situations, you want to make sure you have parameters outside of your material functions. All right, guys, this should cover materials and parameter organization. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.